up to your phone, so welcome back for another video here on Beach Stars Technology Reviews. First of all, just a massive thank you for everyone who has subscribed to this channel and has helped me get up to 30 subscribers. And if you want to see more of the accessible technology reviews I do on here, you can like, comment and subscribe to this channel where I review accessible and adaptive gaming, accessible gaming technology and how we can make everyday technology accessible for everyone. And if you have a WordPress account, you can go and follow the blog over at www.technologyreviews.co.uk. Not only that, but if you help me make my first milestone and help me get up to 50 subscribers, I will let you choose whether I do a what I have on my iPhone slash iPad video or any mobile gaming video of your choice. But just make sure to comment below or under my previous video what you would like to see or go to my personal Twitter account at Style or to the technology reviews Twitter account at Tech Reviews UK to vote or you can comment below the videos on Instagram those being over at After Real Page Style or if you prefer the technology reviews one it is at Technology Reviews UK you can also have your say over on the Facebook page on Tech Log Reviews. But as the title says, this video is on whether this budget one photo arm is just as good as the variable flexion arm I've been loading the past year. So now let's get straight into the video. So this is all the stuff that I've bought recently to find out if a budget Manfrotto arm will work the same way as the Manfrotto variable friction arm when using it to play games on any game console if you need help with something. So, in the brown box, we have the new single Manfrotto arm. Um, that came with this clamp, which made it 65 points -ish overall. And then the triangular plate, when that was added onto it, costed around 20 points. Which for some of you that might not still be a good enough option and might still be a wee bit too expensive but for a lot of us it will be a huge improvement compared to the other arm which costs over £100. So it's been a couple of months since I filmed the first part of this video and that was due to a number of things. The main reason was that I had to order a few extra parts being these Manfrotto 037 camera mounting studs which took a bit of time to arrive and after that I had to see about getting help putting it all together. But now that all of that is done, let's see if everything works the same way as the Manfrotto variable friction mounting arm that I reviewed 
and one of my experiments with adaptive gaming videos last year and if it's a good equivalent for a better life. What you're wanting to do is to attach the clamp to the bottom of the arm and once that is done you will attach the rectangular plate to the end. After everything is connected you'll have to use the circle story thing to move the plate if you can't reach it at a certain distance and as well as that you would have to use the clamp to help get it in a better position as well. Even at this case you might find it slipping every now and again but honestly it just depends what you're happy with and if you would prefer paying the extra money for the other arm or go down the budget line like this. So after playing around with this clamp, I decided to make it a